Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Run Beer Review. Today we have a beer mail unboxing from Dan, Dan from BoozeReviews.ca out in Alberta. He uh, recently went on a trip to Victoria and said he wanted to send me some beers. Now, I don't know if all these beers are from BC or if it's a mixture of BC and Alberta, but uh, this package just arrived today, uh, one day before the uh, proposed either strike or lockout of Canada Post. So, you can see some of the glasses I've been using recently over there. Uh, so, I made it just in time, which is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to get one to him back right away, unless this strike does not happen. Um, I owe two beer meals out, one to him and one to uh, somebody else, and if everything goes good, the strike will only be a month, and it gives me a month to find some cool brews to send out to them, and if it goes longer than that, then I will uh, send it out to them with like FedEx or something. So there's 16 beers in here, so let's see what we have, shall we? Oh, oh, he told me this was coming, and I can't really be angry because I send stuff to people from them all the time, too, but Boxer Hard Root Beer, that, uh, disturbs me on, uh, so many levels, it's not funny. Ugh. Okay, next, we have something from Hearthstone in BC, which is a brewery I've had a lot of stuff from thanks to Steve, but this, this is a Berlin, Berliner Weiss Wild R Raspberry. So I'm going to hope that that's like the Raspberry Uber from, uh, from Nickelbrook. Next, we have from Parallel 49, it is... Does that say? I can't read what that says. Oh, Session Ale. This is Cowboy Crusher. I mean, whether or not you like the beers from Parallel 49, and I'm about half and half with the ones I do and do not like, you ha can't deny that their artwork is pretty awesome. Blind Man Brewing. This is out of Alberta. This is their Kettle Sour uh, number three. Kettle Sour number three. There we go. This is the way to do beer meals, guys. Cans. Cans work great because they don't break as often. What do we have here? This is from Vancouver Island Brewing, which is the brewery that was just bought out by uh, one of the co-owners at Muskoka. So the Black Betty Blackberry Saison. So let's push that over there. Uh, let's take this down to the floor. Uh, it's full of packing peanuts. I don't know if you guys know this, but packing peanuts are the uh, devil. I hate packing peanuts with a passion. Like, hate packing peanuts with a passion. Um, yeah, they are my nemesis. Me and packing peanuts, we, we hate each other. Just grabbing a couple at a time now, just because of the packing peanuts that I'm spilling everywhere still. You know, I'm trying to be careful here. I'm still spilling packing peanuts everywhere. I'm still that guy. Okay. Ugh. Okay. So, 
Next, what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. Next, we have Solaris White Peach Ale from Phillips. I really love the can on that. That reminds me of Flying Monkeys artwork. Uh, put that over here. Next, we have from Category 12 their insubordinate uh, Session IPA. Awesome artwork again. Next, we have from Root Cellars. What is this? Alcoholic beverage was on alcoholic, 6.7% alcohol. Um, is this a hard root beer? I think that's what it's saying. Root Cellars. Yeah, root beer. So a hard root beer. Another alcoholic hard root beer. I have a couple here I believe he can't get, so I'll have to send him out some. Um, <clears throat> Next, my first beer from Moon Underwater, which is a brewery everybody says you need to try. This is their Creepy Uncle Dunkle, which is a dark lager. Creepy Uncle Dunkle. Another can, which is awesome. I love cans, guys. Next, we have Pale Session Ale from the Goat Locker Brewing Company. Where the fuck is the Goat Locker? That is an awesome name. Oh, Albert Grove, BC. So, the Goat Locker Session Ale. Uh, next, we have from... Just trying to find out which brewery this is. Longmoodbeer.com. Longmood Brewery in BC. This is their Steampunk Dunkle. I like some dark beers, so I mean that's that's awesome to get as well. Uh, and I do believe there's one or two things left in this box. Okay, there we go. Last two beers. And I know nothing about these. I've had a couple beers by this company. Um, but I don't ever know all that much about them. Um, So this one is Red Horizon 2nd Edition from Nogna O. So it's actually awesome it comes in this. It must have been expensive as fuck because first off it's Nogna O, which is expensive no matter where you get it in North America. And second it comes in a fucking tube. And the Red Horizon 3rd Edition. So I'll quickly uh, just read what it says about these. I don't know anything really about them. I'm going to guess that this one's at least done with something Asian because it has some candy in there. Oh, this one does too, okay. What we have tried to do here is to get the optimum uh, fruitiness out of sake yeast. This beer was fermented for 10 weeks at low temperatures with sake yeast number 9 to achieve that. Okay, so it's a sake beer. Is there anything else about it other than it was brewed with sake yeast that I see? No, not really. Uh, what's the bottles look like? Here's the other thing with Nogna O. They always talk so much, and they're always so little. Like, look at that. That's a tiny-ass fucking bottle. I'm gonna guess that was at least ten bucks.
Yeah, it's really just a sake beer. Here we go, right here. I know this has been taking a little too long. I apologize. Um, yeah, ingredients. So that's number three. Put it back in its pan so it looks cool when I open it up for the review. Now what does number two say? Uh, we brewed this ale with the famous sake yeast number seven from Masumi Sake in Nagano, Japan. On advice from Matsumi Master Brewer, we fermented this ale very slowly at low temperature to bring out number seven's fabulous fruity character. This product is unfiltered and unpasteurized. Please enjoy its chilled. Special thanks to Masumi. Alrighty, so that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen beers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, thirteen beers. That's a beautiful beer mail. Um, really intriguing stuff. A large plethora of a selection. And I'm going to start collecting things for you in the next day or two. Um, on the next week or two. And we'll, uh, see when we can get it out to you. I have my two beer meals left, like I said, and, uh, yeah. Give me time to collect some good stuff this summer since I can't really send anything out. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.